video it's Riley welcome to my YouTube channel this is different this video is for my main channel and I'm vlogging for it what is happening what does the world come to anyway I wanted to film a video for you guys and I wanted to make sure I was getting a good video out for you this week however I have been going through a lot in my head and my brain has not been super kind to me and I am dealing with a lot of my mental health issues currently my depression is hitting really really bad my anxiety is really really bad recently I'm dissociating I'm constantly out of my head and I kind of wanted to take you through what a day with depression looks like for me uh, so this is gonna be kind of a different video but I hope you enjoy it nonetheless and I say a day in depression as it's 7 p.m. and I'm filming this but it's still something that I wanted to include for you I was able to muster up the energy to get into the shower today earlier which is good um, and if this looks like a little bit of a different location that would be because I am in my basement because I kind of made camp on the futon in my basement because I have clean clothes on my bed that I have still yet to fold that I haven't folded because I haven't had the energy to fold them so I have just kind of made camp in my basement because I had friends over a couple days ago and I just never like migrated back up to my bedroom so this is kind of where I've been sitting trying to manage I have some shop stuff that I really should get done today but I don't know if that's gonna happen just because I genuinely feel so bad like it's really hard for me to get the energy and motivation to do the things that I have to do when I'm dealing with stuff like this and it sucks because like I've been on my meds consistently and everything and stuff just kind of sucks at the current second and I'm still trying to manage and deal with that in my head so working through it is pretty difficult but I kind of wanted to like I said document it for you guys and be like a day in depression this is what I do this is what I how I live so I hope you're gonna enjoy this little video I don't know how it's gonna like turn out or anything because I've never done something like this on my main channel also quality is a little bit lower I am vlogging on my phone because I do not know where my vlogging camera is at the moment however I feel like it'll be okay it'll be an okay video I don't know I'm just rambling at this point but yes welcome to a day in the life of Riley with mental illness hey yo first plan of action is I'm watching some YouTube to try and feel a little bit better it's good mythical more currently at the moment I also got um, a new fidget spinner in the mail if you don't know uh, fidget spinners really help me with my dissociation and with my anxiety and I have my um, I have my other spinners ah, and my cube over here I don't know where my blue spinner is it's probably under a pillow but I have my orange spinner um, and I have my uh, fidget cube which I really like and I have a couple more spinners and a couple more cubes coming in the mail that I ordered from AliExpress so uh, I want to start collecting them I really really like them and it's something that really really helps me just stay grounded and I think I'm going to do a video for this for this channel about uh, fidget toys and how important they are and why they should not be uh, troublemaking thing and you know why people who are neurotypical need to be responsible with them to not get them taken away from people who aren't neurotypical you know what I mean um but I got a new one in the mail and it's got pennies on it which I thought was really cool so it's got pennies on it and then it's got like the one cent thing on the back and it's metal and I really like it and I think it's my current favorite and it's not too different size wise from the traditional spinner but I think I like it better because it's more weighted and it works better for anxiety and stuff so I'm sitting here spinning this non-stop and I am watching some YouTube to try and feel better I will probably journal at some point just because that's something that I've been trying to do recently because I've found that getting my thoughts out onto paper is something that can be kind of helpful so if you haven't tried journaling before or you haven't it hasn't worked in the past pick it up again find a journal you like I covered mine in good stickers from like baby dragonborn on Etsy because she's my favorite shop ever just trying to get it to work through to the point where it's you know good enough for me to like actually feel motivated to write in I'm also still trying to kind of work with my bullet journal it's not really working because I'm not sticking with it but I use it when I can and it's still kind of helpful so um, um, luckily I didn't invest a lot of money in bullet journal setup or anything um, bullet journaling is cool too but I'm gonna go um, eat some applesauce watch this video it's gonna be a good and I'm gonna try and get myself out of my head a little bit I don't know if it's going to work or not but it is worth a shot
But actually, this is what I genuinely do when I feel depressed is I turn on Alfie and I watch Alfie's vlogs and I live vicariously through him because I am too depressed to do anything with my life. So thanks, Alf. Oh, it's literally been like, I feel like it's been like 10 minutes and I have to move my ass because I'm trying to get my fucking blanket and I'm sitting on it. Hello. Hi. How you doing? Um, in other news, I'm freezing and the depression is doing the bads. So I'm sitting here living vicariously through my Elfie days as it's something that I usually do. Honestly. Oh God, that's so good. It's so warm. Oh wow, it might doesn't help that I'm wearing a tank top and it's always like three degrees in my basement. It's so cold. That's what's up. I'm literally not doing anything. I just feel bad. Like life just is not doing good and I just like my mood is just bad. And like the thing is, is that nothing wrong is happening. Like nothing bad has happened to like trigger uh, me being so out of my head, but I just am. And that's the perks of living with mental illness. So that's great and fun. I hope this actually goes up on my main channel because I'm like so worried about quality being bad, but maybe this will give you like an introduction as to what some of my vlogs are like, except usually my vlogs are less depressing. They're not usually this um, mental illness centric, even though I'm usually like, ha ha ha, I feel like shit. They're not usually focused on the fact that I feel like shit. Um, I also keep looking over at myself instead of actually looking at the camera because I'm not used to having a viewfinder when I film. So I'm gonna curl up and finish watching this vlog and then I'm gonna watch Zoe's vlog because Zoe's finally vlogged and apparently they moved and I'm like wow that just blew my mind because like I had no idea that Alfie and Zoe moved but they moved I guess so that's cool. I'm watching their update vlogs about it. Nice. I may be having a hard day, but the one thing that always cheers me up is my puppy. Hi, buddy. Say hi. Who is that? Is that you? Look at you. Oh, hi. So, it's a little bit later, and I decided to make food, and currently I'm watching Zoe's moving in vlog. Um, but I just decided to get some food in my system and I got some hate on Tumblr Not like hate just like people being like ignorant and stuff and that's always annoying So having to deal with that is <laughs> like not helping my mood whatsoever I just posted it and was like literally like I don't even engage with it anymore I'm just like fuck off like literally leave my blog and then I block the IP address and then it's done and they can't send me any hate anymore. It's just really irritating. I don't get a lot of hate on my Tumblr actually surprisingly um, but that's because I have like over 2,000 people blocked on my Tumblr because the Tumblr I'm talking about the one that I use the most often is the one that is about my age regression and stuff um, and there's a lot of discourse through those communities and then involved in kink and then whatever and I just don't want to get into it, so I just, like, block everybody, um, and I literally go through, and if a blog has any inkling that they might be nasty or kink or against anything that I am, I'm just, like, block, and you never get to view my blog ever again and never get to interact with my content, because I don't want to deal with that. Um, so I just went through and did that to a couple of people, but then I'm getting some supportive messages, so that's always nice. And I'm talking to Cody, which if you didn't know, Cody is the name of my boyfriend. And I obviously haven't shown him much on social media or my channel. Um, we are long distance. He's in Indiana, and we've been together for a couple months, and it's been really good. And I'm really loving it, and we're just chatting hanging out um we're in a poly thing going on right now so cody's got another partner and today is their five-year anniversary which is like really exciting for them so i'm like really happy for them and that's really cool and i'm just sitting here watching a vlog trying to not be sad sipping on my fancy ass water because why not because 
freaking Costco doesn't sell plain LaCroix or any other flavors besides lime and lime is gross and frankly I don't like flavored sparkling water at all and then they had like the mini bottles of San Pellegrino but like for like 15 of them it was like $25 and then for 15 of these huge one liter bottles that are glass it was like $15 so we were like all right that's cool I also just said like about 8,000 times awesome so we just bought the glass bottles instead so i have my pretentious sparkling water and i still feel bad and like i'm dealing with some passive self-harm and suicidal thoughts at the moment and i'm not really sure why or what's causing them they're just kind of in my head and i can't really get rid of them they're just there and i'm like this really sucks because i'm sitting here and i'm like riley you should like definitely kill yourself and I'm like ah but I like don't want to do that so why is my brain doing that I don't know I honestly have no answer to you for that like it genuinely doesn't make any sense to me why my brain goes to that but it does so I'm trying to cope and deal and manage with that I don't know how well it's gonna work but we're gonna find out I want to finish watching this vlog though because I love Zoe with all my heart. Zelfi is my goals and I love them lots. So I'm gonna go do that and I'll see you guys soon. So it's later and I'm here and I've been watching the IT crowd because that's a show that I'm getting into now and I'm really liking it and it's legitimately helping me feel better just because it's actually making me laugh out loud and it's just so funny and I, I just I love British TV so much and the, the fact that this is like Big Bang Theory type sitcom and it's just it's just it's so good and it's so pure and it's so funny and it's really helping me feel a little bit better and I haven't really done much in this video I just wanted to make sure I had a video to put out for you guys but this is kind of what I do when I'm in a rut is I just kind of sit here until I start to feel better and I'm kind of starting to feel better because of the show which is good so that's the current plan. I'm still playing with my spinner because I'm always playing with my spinner and this literally hasn't been on my hand since I got it in the mail today. And I'm gonna continue watching the IT crowd. I've watched like seven episodes so far tonight. They're only like 20 minutes a piece though. So it's not too bad, but still I'm gonna go chill some more. Hey yo, it's Riley a few days uh, later after this video was filmed. I hope you enjoyed it and it gave you a little bit of insight as to what my days with depression are like. I know the video quality was extremely low and that's because it was filmed on my phone, but I really kind of wanted to put content out there that was more real and raw on my main channel because I do that a lot on my side channel, but I don't put it a lot out on my main. So if you did enjoy this video, learn anything from it, or just found it relatable because I know I'm not the only one who goes through depression and deals with mental illness and things like that, please give it a big thumbs up because it really helps me out. If you want to subscribe, you can down below and you can click the notification bell to be notified whenever I upload a video which is really cool. If you click the buttons on the screen it'll take you to all three of my channels and the video box will take you to my most recent video. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and I will talk to you soon. Goodbye.